Hi, Anthony here with Computer Repair Club. Um, today I'm going to be showing you some IT. Um, we're going to go over, uh, basically I'm going to simulate the laboratory as if it was a small um, business office, you know, one without a server. I haven't set up the server yet. So I'm just going to do some simple file sharing between two computers and teach you how to create a network drive also. Okay, so here are the two computers we will be sharing files on. They're both running Windows 10 this computer and this computer and uh, this is just basic sharing okay to begin file sharing I go to the PC which I want to transfer the files from this is a Windows 10 desktop here um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find out the computer name by going to the file explorer down here right click on this PC go to properties and we see the name win 10 B so this is a server um, the file server we're creating so just write that down win 10 B and now we're gonna create a folder on the desktop we're gonna call it shared files now let's put some files in there okay now the files are in there and now we want to share them to another computer so the first thing I do is right click on shared files go to properties go to sharing click on share and since we don't have a domain it's we don't really do users here we basically just type in everyone and we set their permission level and in this situation we're going to set it to read and write and I'm going to click share and it's going to ask us do we want to turn on network discovery and file sharing so we say yes and now the files are shared and click done and click close here the next thing we have to do is we go back to the file explorer I take that back we go to control panel so we type in control panel into the search bar and we go to network and sharing center right here we go to advanced sharing settings and we turn off password protected sharing this allows us to access without logging in with the user and I click save changes so now this computer is fully set up to share f this folder on the network with anyone who's on the network in future videos I'll make we'll do settings and we'll we'll do security settings and stuff like that okay so here we are with our second computer um, if you remember we jotted down the name of the computer we want to get the files from and that was win 10 B so the first thing I do to access win 10 B from the network is I click in the search box and I type in backslash backslash win win 10 B and I press enter and you can see there's our folder right now it's under the users and there's our shared files folder and there's all our files so I can just go back and if I want to create a shortcut to this I just hold the right click button down drag it to my desktop and create shortcut here Now we have a shortcut to the shared files folder. Now I can double click this file icon and I can create a new folder or a new input, you know, put files in here. I can delete. And when we go to the other computer, these these files will appear the same way over there. I named it test folder and we're going to look at the other computer and see how it looks.
Okay, we're back on the computer, which we, we've turned into a file server. And uh, let's look in the shared files folder. And if you remember, we created a test folder and we deleted the other file and you can see it's changed here now. Okay, so now we're going to do a little bit of advanced stuff. We're going to directly share this folder so that you could access the folder directly instead of having to go through the user's directory. To do that, I right click. I go to properties, I click on sharing, I click on advanced sharing, and I click on share this folder, and I click apply, and click OK, and close. Now this folder is now shared on the network directly, and I could sh create a network drive on this f directly to this folder. Okay, now we're going to do a network drive. Network drives are relatively simple to do. I'm going to close the shared folder. I'm going to go back. I'm going to click back in the search box. I'm going to navigate. I'm going to type in Win10B, which was the name of the other computer into the search box and press enter. It'll pull up our shared files and now I can see our shared files folder. We can double click it, we can look at the files there. But this time we're going to create a network drive directly to this folder. So I can right click on shared files and I can click on map network drive and we'll call it drive letter. We'll just stick with Z and I click on finish. Now we've created a network drive directly to the other computer. And that can be seen under File Explorer and this PC. Let's expand this a little here, if I can. Yeah, there it is. And as you can see, Shared Files Z Drive. We have now successfully shared the files into a network drive and the Z Drive which is recognized as a hard drive available to this computer. All you have to do now is right click, drag it to the desktop, let go, create shortcut here. Now you have a link to the Z drive. And there's the files. And that's how you do it. That's how you share files on a Windows 10 PC. It's very similar on the other computers. Since I have a lab here I'll be creating videos doing Windows 7 and Windows 8 so we could all see how to do it on each of these operating systems and uh, that's how we um, share files across the network. Um, keep your eye out for future videos. Uh, subscribe to this video or to our channel if you like it and uh, come to our forum at computerrepairclub.com and you could talk to me or you could share with other members. Um, thanks again.